All right, so here we are with the iZip Pro Tour. This is a 28 mile per hour speed pedelec bike by iZip. And this is really similar to the way the Urban Plus by High Bike is set up. That was a really popular bike for us. And this is very similar. Um, it uses the same 48 volt Trans X mid drive that's on the Urban Plus. It also has a integrated down tube battery, which is not the exact same battery as what's in the high bike, but it is the same voltage and I believe similar capacity. Um, overall, the format is, is pretty similar. It's got fenders, but these fenders are metal, so it's actually a little bit of an upgrade. Um, it has the rear rack that's built in. All right, so here we are with the rear rack, and it also includes a metal fender that's very sturdy. It definitely feels really premium and strong. And then one cool addition of the Pro Tour is the Avis Protectic is what they call it, rear wheel lock. So these are seen on a lot of bikes overseas, especially in Europe, um, where if you're just running in and out of somewhere really quick and you want the safety of having the bike somewhat locked up. It's not gonna be locked to a rack or anything like that, but it basically locks the rear wheel, so if anyone were to just hop on it, they wouldn't be able to ride it away. And this bike is about, you know, between 50, 55 pounds. It's gonna to be tough for someone to just pick it up and, and get away with it. So that's a nice extra feature. Avis is a German brand that's really well known for security. And for anybody that values that, then it's included. Um, it's got a SRAM drivetrain on the rear X7 derailleur. And it has hydraulic disc brakes. These are Shimano. Um, pretty basic hydraulic disc brakes, but they work really good and stop quite well. I'm personally a fan of Shimano lower end hydraulic. They work really well and it's a great value for the money. And then, of course, what makes this bike special and kind of sets it apart from other e-bikes, as with the Urban Plus, is the Kobe system. So this Kobe system basically puts your smartphone at the center as the brain. And we don't have one in here right now, but we'll clip in some Kobe footage from our high bike video to show you how it all works. Um, long story short, the Kobe system is really awesome. It's, it's a, a great value that it's included with the bike. It has a ambient sensing front headlight. So depending on how bright it is outside, it will dim or brighten the headlight. So that's a cool feature. Um, yeah, it's just, we'll show you everything in the, in the clip of the Urban. It works just the same way. Electronic bell, everything is fully integrated. You can listen to your music on the go and control it with the thumb pad. Um, you can see a lot of statistics, how much wattage you're putting out from the system. Um, navigation is also built in, everything like that, so that's cool. And one difference of the Pro Tour versus the Urban regarding the Kobe is the tail light. So on the high bike, it had a brake light, which if you were to hit the brakes, the brake light gets activated. But this one takes it to, to one step further and actually has turn signals built in. So you can use the thumb pad to control signaling to the left or signaling to the right. And uh, it's a pretty neat feature, especially if you ride in traffic um, with other cars. So that's a really valuable feature. This connects over Bluetooth. It does have to be charged separately. So I guess that could be kind of one downside, but the feature set that's included is really awesome. So now we have an iPhone 7 sitting in the cradle. This is a universal spring-loaded cradle that fits pretty much all phone sizes from standard phones all the way up to the iPhone Plus, the big Android Galaxies, things like that. It's very secure. That's your home screen. And just like on any other e-bike, you can use the thumb pad to control the assist level. It also tells you how much range you have remaining per assist level. That's your battery indicator for your bike. This is your power meter that will start to show up once you ride. Also flip through the menu. So here we're at navigation. You can have your contact synced up. You can have your music synced up. And 
fitness here will show your health, which you can connect to the Apple Health app, and also the wattage. There's also a electronic built-in bell. Bottom one. All right, so now we're in the Kobe app when the bike is not being used, when it's not in motion. We'll go over some of the features and functions of the app itself. You have your tour, which refers to the total distance, the amount of time, and the average speed of your ride. So right now, the navigation is just using my GPS and my data. It still works, it's just going to use data. If you download the offline maps, you do not use your phone's data, which is pretty nifty. So next we have the fitness tab where you can attach some sensors to monitor your heart rate, things like that. All right, now on to the music tab. So the way this works is you play your music from your Spotify or your Apple Music and it automatically takes over the audio controls using the thumb pad on the handlebar. Kind of a cool little rolling bike icon. And in our minds, one of the most valuable features that the Kobe system offers is the built-in alarm system. With theft being such a big issue in Hawaii and other places as well, this really adds a lot of value. So if you look at the lower left-hand corner, you see a little lock icon there. Once you press the lock, it actually locks the bike and if anybody tampers with it or tries to move it, an alarm will sound off. So here's the bike, the alarm is set, and we're gonna try to tamper with it a little bit and see what happens. Oh. Make some noise when you move the handlebars, and if you roll the bike, and that's about it for the home page. We'll now go into settings on the upper left. So here you have your connected services tab. You can integrate through Strava, through the Apple Health as mentioned earlier. Let's see here. Your bike's information. Here are your map settings where you can download the offline maps, external sensors, and that's about it. And then finally, one last main difference. If you come and take a look on this side, you can see where the integrated battery is, the motor, all that stuff. Um, this bike is actually a little bit faster than the Urban. The Urban topped out at about 25 miles per hour. The Pro Tour, whatever they did with the tuning of the motor, this can go a solid 28. And the acceleration does feel to be a little bit stronger as well. So if you have the need for speed or you enjoy having that extra bit of power, then uh, you'll really appreciate the added features of the Pro Tour. One last thing that I didn't point out, the Pro Tour does also have a throttle hookup. So if you want to run a throttle, there's a connector, and that's also a unique feature. The Urban, the High Bike Urban does not have that. The Pro Tour does have a throttle add-on option. All right, that's about it, guys. Check out our channel for more footage, and we'll see you in the next video.